Vamos pa' la playa, pa' curarte el alma, cierra la pantalla. So I really wanted to film a chit chat get ready with me um, let's just go ahead and get started with this video so I've already done my eyebrows off camera to save us some time I'm gonna go ahead and use my pixie corrector I am gonna use my ring finger just to go ahead and color correct the under eye circles so it's been a crazy two weeks honestly um, I think that's the last time I uploaded was like over a week ago um, we've just been having a lot of um, family things to take care of so I haven't really made it a priority to vlog or film anything which I'm sorry I apologize I need to like I said get on a routine but um, family's first of course so I've just been taking care of what I need to take care of so that's where I've been I'm taking Santana to um, a library for a story time today, so um, that's why I'm getting ready. We might go to the mall um, because I need to pick out something to wear for Mother's Day. Mother's Day is this week, and um, we have a few things going on this week. My brother is in the military, and he's coming into town um, this weekend, and then my... Um, my close friend is moving to New Jersey, so they're doing a going away dinner that we got invited to. I'm spraying my beauty blender with some Milani Make It Last. So the foundation that I'm going to use today is the Fenty Beauty um, foundation, the Pro Filter Soft Matte Long Wear in the color 330. It's a little too dark for me, so I might mix it with my Infallible from L'Oreal in the color 105 because this one's too light. Um, I need to pick out some summer shades now because so this one's way too light and then the Fenty Beauty one is way too dark so I like to just go ahead and like cocktail it I already um, primed my face as well I use my Milani I've been loving this um, prime and protect primer it has SPF 30 it's a face primer and it's good it's only $10 at Ulta you can get it wherever they sell Milani. They sell it everywhere now. I remember before, back in the days, they would... Oh! Gross. I remember back in the days when they used to sell Milani only at Walmart. Who remembers that? I used to always get their powders. Because Milani is a really good brand, honestly. I really like... Um, their lipsticks are amazing. That's my favorite. I would love to do like a Milani review for you guys. Let me know if you guys would like to see something like that. My poor Sainty, he's been teething, so he, this week has been crazy. He was throwing up, we thought he had a stomach bug. It went away, it was only like a one day thing. And then he hasn't been wanting to eat much um, because he's teething, his molars are coming in. So it's just been crazy. We've been dealing with a baby with diarrhea who's teething. And he only had diarrhea for one day so he had diarrhea he was throwing up then he had diarrhea and i was like he didn't have a fever so we didn't take him to the doctor um but he's doing better yesterday he had pizza which is his favorite food and he ate the pizza we knew that he would eat it because he loves pizza so i blended that all out it took a while um like i said i used fenty beauty and l'oreal infallible those are both like a matte finish foundation and I'm oily and it's hot in Arizona so I need something mattifying. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more color corrector under my eye and just blend that out. I might blend that out with my beauty blender. And then we're also going to use a Fenty Beauty um, concealer that I picked up at the VIB style. So I'm going to go ahead and use 310 and um, the Fenty Beauty concealer. I really do like this concealer. I tried it yesterday and it's a good one. I think I can go one shade darker. If you like a bright under eye um, in your my skin color, 310 would probably be a good brightening one. But um, I like something a little more... Um, a little more tan, a little more natural to what my foundation looks like. So I'm definitely going to have to get a darker one. But I do like this um, concealer. It's very creamy. 
and it has like a medium um, coverage. But it's a good one. Anyone else have bad allergies during the springtime? Um, it's been raining the past two days in Arizona, so we've been having really nice weather. I hope today is just like another day where the weather's beautiful because summers in Arizona are super hot, so I'm kind of dreading summer. I'm actually really excited for fall. I just wish it was fall all year round. I'm gonna set everything with Laura Mercier. Um, this one's almost empty. Luckily, I stocked up on this for the sale. I got a new one, but I'm gonna get everything that's out of this one before I open the new one. Spank it. I got some. Then I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes. Set, set, set. I really need to go get my eyebrows um, threaded. I'm just dreading it, honestly, but I need to go probably today or tomorrow. What I've been doing lately is I've just been using my beauty blender and then just setting like this, just dabbing. Dabbing it all over my face instead of using a brush. I mean, I do use a brush sometimes, but this trick also works. And then I just go all over my face and set when I'm in a rush. I'll just use my beauty blender. Yes, I really love the way that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and use the new Fenty Beauty bronzers. Oh my God, this bronzer is amazing. It's called Baja Girl, Baja Girl in Riri's accent. Um, it's a really pretty caramelized um, bronzer. I love it. This is what her makeup artist um, Priscilla Ono said. This is the shade she uses on Rihanna. So of course I had to get it even though I'm a little lighter than Rihanna. But I want to look like Rihanna. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get the shade Rihanna uses. It's so pretty. Her bronzers are really good. Actually, I don't think I've used anything from Fenty Beauty that I don't like. Like, I like everything I've tried from her line. From the Fenty Beauty line. All her products are, like, so good. And I love all the names to them. The packaging, like, this rose gold packaging is amazing. I really like Fenty Beauty. Yeah, this is such a pretty bronzer. I really love the shade of this um, bronzer so much. I want to pick up a different shade just because I love the consistency of this bronzer that I want to see what um, the other shade looks like. The other shades, there's so many shades. You know Rihanna, she's very inclusive with her makeup, so she has a shade for like everyone. And I kind of want to see what a what the other shades look like. This one is more like a red tone bronzer, which I really like, like a red orangey tone. So pretty, I can't get enough. Okay, I need to stop before I look crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Laura Mercier bronzer to go ahead and cut right here, you know, so it looks on fleek and I look chiseled out. Um, and then I just let that sit right there. I use my Sigma F40 to um, use a little bit of matte give me sun on the cheeks. I really love this bronzer so much. Okay, just a little bit. Don't wanna overdo it, which I always do. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use MAC Peaches. I've been obsessed with this blush. Where is it? Here it is. I love MAC Peaches. It's such a pretty peachy blush. It's very youthful. So pretty, I love this blush so much. You see how fast I do my makeup? My husband thinks I take forever, but I feel like I go fast. I'm gonna go ahead and use um, this new um, highlight called Bonnie Luminizer from The Balm. This is vegan makeup, so. Such a pretty like gold highlight. So let's go ahead and try that. 
lines I'm on the tip of my nose. That's so pretty. Put some up here. Oh, wow. She is so nice. Okay, I don't need a lot. We're going to story time, Ellie. We're not going to the club. Okay, I'm that mom that, you know, has to be beat to the gods for story time. Anyways, so next, I don't know if I should do eyeshadow because it's story time. Um, I guess I might do a little bit of eyeshadow. I'm going to use my Tartlet palette. I love this palette. It's just a whole bunch of warm tones. So we're just going to go ahead and let's see. I really need to sort out my brushes. Go in with the color Warmth and then just put that on my crease. Like a really pretty orange, orangey brown color that matches my shirt honestly i'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over my crease wow i really like that color it's so pretty <laughs> if you haven't tried um any palettes from tarte you guys definitely need to their eyeshadows are so buttery and just so bomb wow that looks so nice i love these are like fall colors, but I like them year round. I feel like they're really pretty for summer too. I really need to get my eyebrows threaded. I tried to disguise the hair with concealer, but I just, I can't stand it. We're, we're gonna add some more to the eyelid. It's like a really pretty vanilla mushroomy shade not mushroomy uh marshmallow huh <laughs> mushroomy and i'm gonna add some more to my eyebrow to the bone and then we're gonna go in with warmth one more time just to blend everything in make sure everything is nice and blended to go in with my new l'oreal unlimited mascara i picked this up at target yesterday um i just i didn't really need mascara but this bottle reminds me of the lancome um i think it's called hypnosis mascara with the flower they kind of copied the bottle but i love drugstore mascaras so let's see oh even the wand kind of looks like it i have makeup on my hands Let's try it. I love L'Oreal um, mascaras a lot. So, probably love this one too. I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. Oh, actually, before I do that, I need to dust this powder and spray my face because that's usually how I do it. So, curl my lashes real quick. use mac uh prep and prime this is the cherry blossom one it smells like cherry blossom i used the Too faced melted um little mini lipstick that i got this fall in the color hot buttered rum i love this nude um they really need to make this a permanent shade because i would so buy the big one i have this little tiny one so next we're gonna go ahead and go in with our mascara we're gonna use the L'Oreal new mascara that I was talking about. And then um, my lashes are already curled, so let's go ahead and apply some. I do like it a lot. Cute. Then I'm going to apply it at the other eye. I don't see the point of getting expensive mascara. I really don't. Um, I'm okay with drugstore mascara. So that wraps up this chit chat get ready with me. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you guys in my next video.